Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm going to be doing a challenge. I was challenged from Pete Thomas, a fellow YouTuber from the UK. He has challenged me to do beef and Guinness. Unfortunately, I was unable to find Guinness, so we're going to do beef and stout stew. So while I'm at it, Pete, I'm challenging you to do fried chicken and waffles, which is a southern staple here in the United States. So get do some research on that, buddy, and I look forward to seeing what you do with it. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I've got two pounds of chuck, and I cut this up into cubes, and we're gonna put this into this pan. You can put it into a clear bask, uh, clear bag as well. This is a half a cup of all-purpose flour, and I will be adding the, uh, the recipe in the show more section, the description here. Here we've got salt, pepper, and garlic powder. We put all that in there as well. And in here we've got oregano and thyme. And what we're going to do is just mix this all up, get it well incorporated into the beef. And again, it might be a little easier for you if you have a, a large plastic bag that you can um, just kind of shake this around really well, really good in here. Okay guys, this looks good. So we're going to get this on the pot. All right, guys. We have added two tablespoons of oil. And we put the stove on medium-high heat. Added our beef. And basically all we're going to do is just brown this up good enough to go ahead and add the rest of our seasonings and our liquids and our vegetables in there. So let's get this browned up. For you. And what I'm going to do is after we get everything kind of incorporated into this little Dutch oven pot, I'm going to um, transfer it to a slow cooker and we're going to cook it all day on low. So it's going to be the meat, the vegetables, and everything is going to be super. All right, we got our beef brown. So now we're going to add our tomato paste. This is six ounces of tomato paste. Again, like I said at the beginning, the recipe will be in the uh, description below in the share more section. And we're going to add our beef broth. This is 15 ounces of beef broth. We're going to stir this all together. And it's already starting to look like a stew. And kind of get all those really the good pit, bits and pieces at the very bottom down there that's all crusted up and browned up. We want all those little good bits in there as well. That's where your flavor is at. If you're ever making a gravy and all, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to set this off the stove and add the rest of our ingredients. Alright, we've transferred our vegetables over to our slow cooker. Again, we have carrots, onions, and potatoes in here. And we're going to add two teaspoons of dried garlic. And we're going to add the rest of our beef stew that we've prepared so far this see if we can scrape all that out sorry if I keep mupping the camera all right. and to this well, let's mix it up real good first. To this, we're going to add this stout. It's a Samuel Smith's, all the way from the UK. 
we want to add this whole bottle in here. Let's go ahead and stir this up really well. And we don't have a bay leaf. We're supposed to add two, two bay leaves, so we don't have any of those either. So this is going to be my version. So we're going to let this put this in the slow cooker and let it cook low and slow for eight hours. And then we'll show you guys what the end result is when we get through. All right, guys, here's the stew. It's been cooking all day long. I am looking forward to uh, trying this. It's um, been smelling our house up with some great flavors and smells. So let's try this. This is just a little bit of beef and a little bit of the carrots. That's really good. Um, everything is, is super tender. There's a whole carrot there. Very flavorful. I highly recommend it, especially this time of year when it's cold. It's almost like a like a a chili, very hearty, very flavorful. Mm. The meat basically just falls apart in your mouth. So much flavors going on here, guys. Onions, everything. It's just a wonderful meal to try. And anybody who's worried about using the stout in there, of course, the alcohol cooks out. Very. Family friendly meal, sit around, chat, around the table. Just a great thing to try. Pete, I appreciate it, guy, for uh, challenging me to this. And be sure to check out Pete's channel. Up here's the link to it. And I also put the link in the description to his channel and also the recipe to this as well. Guys, again, thank you again so much for watching the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share with all your friends. God bless.